YouTube is Brian Proctor back with another video and this is the action pose position of the week almost and I say almost because it's really not an action pose position of the week it's a curse drawing uh, you'll see in the video I haven't even done the editing yet and it's, it has been about a week and a couple days drawing this because of all the troubles I had so I decided to go ahead and do a, a, a what do you, speed video and try to make something out of the mess that's been happening from trying to draw this video so you'll see check the video out and then yeah yeah you'll see youtube is brian proctor back again with another action pose position of the week and i'm going to continue with the military posing right now now if you hear thunder and a lot of wind it's because it's storming right now kind of storming bad but that won't stop the art okay so let's get started the first thing you want to do is you kind of want to visualize your pose as I clean my glasses and then make sure it fits on the um, paper okay so this was gonna be more of, a, of a, a kneeling position where the guy is kneeling and aiming a gun so because um, usually if you are a soldier you're gonna be hiding behind a wall or kneeling or, or some type of thing to where you don't get shot okay so it's my power just went out because it's like hurricane storming outside and I want to show you guys just because yeah so I don't know if you can see that because of the, the, the wind the rain but it is just like crazy storming out there but anyway back to the drawing Okay, once again, now hopefully um, I have enough light for you guys to see. I'm going to should I do this the long way. Let's, let's flip this up and do this the long way. I might be able to get it to fit. To where it hopefully it won't go out. I'll just put them on a the corner. So, and usually if I'm drawing something with uh, a character with clothes on it, I will just do this this rectangle for the body and then come back later and then add the pieces because there's no need to, to draw each muscle if I'm going to cover it up. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out, make sure this won't go off the paper. Hopefully there's enough light because as as I just said, it's storming and it's kind of dark and I never really had the best lighting in this room because my window is right in there. So I'm getting side lighting instead of overhead. I do have overhead lighting, but it's not as good as professional lighting because I'm not there yet. So. Let's just say I want to put the gun right here. I need to leave room for his head though. So is his shoulders is going to be here or here? So let's put his shoulders here. Let's put his head about right here. And this is a pretty big drawing. So he's going to have a gun. <clears throat> he's going to have a gun. So let's uh, put the gun about right here. Last time we did a rifle, this is what was going to be a gun. So we put the hand over the gun. This is going to be his right hand. And then we cup, cup, cup the hand like that. And then from there, we want to actually tilt the shoulders so this arm is going to come up a little bit so once you get your basic position then you start adjusting you know what you need so let's see let's see how i like what i like okay now at this point 
to make sure you have everything right, you would do this. You would do the, the uh, torso, abs, and then the width that could be higher. There, so take him out completely. And then put him back again. I'm gonna bring that that foot that should be more in perspective. Perspective, like so. And this is why you don't draw dark because, and I'm staggering my words because I'm thinking and talking and drawing at the same time. Thinking and talking at the same time. Thinking and drawing at the same time. Because you have subject to change so much that that what that that leg is too high that you may have to erase over and over again. So you don't want to start out drawing too dark. I had one student years ago who would draw with an ink pen, and I had to get on him for that. But he's so used to drawing with a pen, it was hard for him to stop. Uh, maybe he just didn't like pencils or didn't have enough pencils or the parents wouldn't buy him pencils or whatever. So let's say knee is here, the center of the foot is here. So the leg would have to be here. And this is a H4. It's dark enough. Usually I'll use H2s, but I wanted to drop that gun just a little bit more, so let's let's do that. Let's, let's make sure I got this right first. And bring this down a little bit more. And this storm just came up out of nowhere and just just like one second it's half cloudy and then literally it just started dumping now let's do this I'm gonna drop his arms a little bit I don't want him to be so high so what I just do with my pencil at age four so I'm gonna put his elbow about right here And maybe, okay, so his head is going to determine where that gun is going to be at. So his eyes are there, so he's going to be looking down that barrel, which is a little lower. Let's tilt the gun, like almost like he's coming around the corner. Tilt the gun, like so. And here, the other hand, let's, let's work on his hand first. Finger, red pencil time, red pencil time. Finger. Actually bent like so then we'll throw that other hand up in here where it's blue 
My desk is a mess. So we're gonna have the glue here. Hold on now, paper, hold on. And then the other arm comes down and since I tilted this shoulder, It's going to be around like this, close to that knee. Like so, like so. So now I want to tilt this guy back a little bit more. Yes, but actually, as I said earlier, it really doesn't matter because once you put the clothes on it, the character, then you won't see a lot of that shoulder. So this is the center point. So your neck is going to come from here, your head. The neck, shoulder, muscles. We can actually tilt it like he is tilting his head to look into the barrel of the gun. Like so, we can adjust the head. I'm not going to draw any faces on it just by drawing the eyes you can see that he's tilting draw the chin flat tilt the eyes center line like that ear would be over here a little twist in the neck and then he is actually aiming at something now I could tilt the gun a little bit so by just adding uh, turning it into a square rectangle or I could tilt the gun the opposite way anyway for now let's just leave it flat I can change that in the wash all right checking the legs now at this point you check your proportions and my last video 15 I believe it was the guy's legs were a little too long just a little too long but you know, he could have long legs. He's a soldier. Do all that running. So, check the knee. Now, I'm, I'm debating putting like the tight fitting clothes on him to make him more like your comic book uh, Black Ops kind of character or put regular loose military camo stuff on him. So, I want to really keep the proportions tight. So, we'll see after I start dressing the cat. Big foot, shove the foot down a little bit more. Let's see if you guys can still see. Oh no, this mess. Hopefully you guys were still seeing that because my phone had some kind of signal on it. And I'll stop it right now and see that you saw what I saw so I can continue. Okay, so it's working. I turned off my Bluetooth because my internet went out for a minute. So maybe it's just affecting that somehow. So what I'm gonna do here is try to move that foot out, move that leg out, just to give him a little more of an open stance. See if how I can do that by just kind of like shoving this over a little bit. And then down. Or maybe that'll put that foot back on that line that I, I wanted. So this would, in order for me to show that this leg went out more, this line would have to come over this versus the other way around. Because if I did that, I left it like that. And just like that, the rain has stopped. After all that, it would be different. So this line is going to come over to show this leg is in front of that one. If you understood any of that that I just said. Like that. And then let's say the ankle stops here, then the foot. 
and I will round the foot off to show roundness you know that it is you know angle it down a little bit more to show that that foot is over let's do that for now and keep it in the wash or fix it in the wash so that knee is going to be here up and down and I'm really concerning myself with the, the body structure which I shouldn't be as I said once you dress it unless you're going to put it in a skin tight uh, military kind of outfit so at this point that part would be done when you figure out what kind of gun you want to put in it in his hand is it gonna be a realistic gun like a Glock or a um, Smith & Wesson or something, or it's going to be like a futuristic type gun. And I guess all that de is determined by what you dress your character or how you dress your character. So if I made a, let's just say I made the front of the gun kind of like this, then he'd be more of a futuristic because really I don't think any guns are shaped like that. And then maybe something down the bottom I don't know yeah they're now getting futuristic or future tech type of thing and that's your that's your special black ops secret society kind of uh, soldier there so let's first of all close my blinds because it's getting dark there's more light inside than outside and then I'll figure out what I'm going to or how I'm going to dress this cat well, let's do some, let's do the hands first. Since these hands are going to cover up this person, you're going to have your, your knuckles here, your main knuckles right here. Maybe I should do that in blue. And then it, come, it comes up. So all your fingers are going to be here to the third one. And your little baby finger. Like that. So you have that, you have this bend here. And this is gonna this is gonna kind of like curve down like this and into the palm. So this, and then you have your actual knuckle knuckles. Knuckle knuckles? Yeah, like so. Always remember that each finger, one finger is gonna be shorter than the other. This one this one and this one might be the longest one or even with that and then you're just gonna curve in and here's your palm holding that hand here so we're going to you, know, you have to have room for your thumb your thumb is gonna be back here somewhere so you're gonna have this part of your thumb because you gotta hold the gun and your finger there and your other fingers will be covered by your hand now as this wrist bent down a little bit let's bend it down and then that so that's done there will be no face but I will leave it this part so that you can see that he did tilt he is tilting his head, kind of lining up his sights. Brian, what are you doing? You're doing the head. Okay, that, that's good enough. So you got your neck, muscles coming up here, there. My pencil's breaking because it's trying to tell me. You're going to put clothes on the guy, let it go. All right, in order for me not to have this video so long, I'll let it go. Now, the hard part is, what am I going to dress this guy as? Now, I can look at, like, some military gear, or I could just kind of make it up. But for now, I'm going to pause and see and decide what I'm going to do with it. All right, now, let me show you this. This was an Eagle catalog 
from 1998, 1998. So I got into the military stuff, or I wanted to, to be able to do military stuff. So I ordered this catalog just for reference sake. Let me pull back so you guys can see the whole thing here. Now, basically it's just, you order, you know, gear, uh, tactical gear. But as I say, I'm a stickler for reference material if you're going to do it you know at least try to you know make it look right so this is like good this is good good reference to have always have books a lot, a lot of people want to do the internet oh go on the internet and find something but it's great to have a book because you can always take it with you and you just open it up and flip there instead of trying to find it on the internet and it might not be what you want so books are always good so that's just a plug to ego. I don't even know if these guys are still around. They probably are, but yeah. Okay, that's that's before I really decide. Let's do my straps first. You always do your straps because your straps are going to be tight around the the body. So let's make sure this is curved. And yes, that's thunder because the storm has come back it was like a horror movie I saw a long time ago where they said you count once you hear the thunder you count and um, or once you see the flash you count a flash of lightning you count and when you hear the thunder it tells you exactly how many miles it is away so the boy was scared of storms so every time he saw the flash of lightning he would count and each time he saw, his count was longer, which meant the storm was going away. So he was, oh, yeah, okay, good. He started to feel better. So then he did it one last time, and he heard the storm was coming back. So the storm actually went away, and it came, started to come back, which just kind of scared the hell out of him. But it was some horror movie. So, yeah, this storm, it went away, and now it's coming back again. So these are the straps that's going to hold his gun, which is going to be... Since he's drawn his gun, it's going to be a square, just a square kind of holster here. And then, and see, this is the hard part. It's just, you know, what are you putting on your guy? And of course, do I want to do knee pads again? I did knee pads for the first one. Yeah, Brian, knee pads are part of the coolness of military stuff. So we'll do this, and then I'll do a, a outer covering of the knee pad, a little more detail, and then two straps here, another strap right here. Um, some kind of belt here. Always, always, and I I got that from Jim Lee. Jim Lee, when he first took off with the X Men. He strapped everybody up, and what he did to um, Cyclops, and that's why I was always a Cyclops fan, because he had so many belts and pockets on Cyclops. I thought it was the, the, the coolest thing, so I had always been a Cyclops, Cyclops fan, but people dog Cyclops, but I think the cartoon in the movies kind of like really messed it up, messed him up, because um, you're talking about the X-Men, and this guy was good enough to lead the X-Men. So of course he was no joke, but you know, when Wolverine came along, it was just the greatest thing. And then, you know, he wanted to get with Gene and then the movies just went on about, oh, he took Gene and blah, blah. And he just, uh, Cyclops just freaked out and lost everything. So yeah, but um, I'm a Cyclops fan. Sorry to say, but I am. And I think mainly because one, the uniform was cool, and then I kind of liked his powers. But I think my favorite three, and I don't know if I ever said that, but my three favorite characters are would be Batman, uh, Black Bolt, and Snake Eyes. And I kind of like characters in dark or black suits that really don't talk a lot. You know, joking like Spider-Man and Batman's usually serious about everything he does. He doesn't really waste time talking too much. 
So I like that. And of course, Black Bolt and Snake Eyes don't talk at all, but their suits are dark, so that makes them dark and mysterious. The suits are black, so that kind of makes them dark and mysterious. I kind of want to put something around this guy's ankle, but I don't really want him to look like Snake Eyes, because Snake Eyes had that. And there's another strapped up character. He always had that little, those bands around his boots. So do I want boots or do I want the pants? But if I make this tight, I would have to, it'd be better to do boots. So again, I'm stuck because I don't know if this is going to be a regular Black Ops character or just some special force kind of guy. Serious special force black ops kind of guy, but I'm starting to gear him up now. So he might be made up. One, two, three. And I think I will pause this and come back when I am 100% sure of what I want to do with this guy. So, yeah, let's do that. All right, so I'm just going to gear this guy up with as much uh, stuff as I can. And if it doesn't work, I just won't ink it. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And then I'm just going fast, fast motion. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll come back then. Okay, there we have it for now. That's enough for me to get started. Let my mind, my, my let my imagination wander as I start inking. But one thing I want to point out is that whenever you take a cylinder object and you wrap something around it, like you have this cylinder thing here, and you wrap something around it, it has to be just as round as your round edges. You can't make it like this and think that it's going to be wrapped around it. It has to be just as round. So when I was working on the armbands, I had to step back and I looked at it and I had to make it a little more rounder, but I'll do that in, um, when I ink it, same way with the legs, it has to be rounder to make it look like the legs are round. But as I say, all, all that stuff I'll do in inking, especially around the edges like that it has to actually wrap around a leg. And you know, this is a quick, quick sketch, so it's not going to be perfect. It's just meant to, to show you something, but you know, it's, it's, I'm showing you this right now. So yeah. And then I'll ink this in a minute and then we'll be done. So that's the position. All right, let's ink. Okay, I'm sorry about that skipping out. Uh, you, you, it's my phone stopped amongst everything else, the storm and the phone problems. The phone memory was full and it stopped. So you missed a lot of the inking. Well, not too much, but I caught it. So now I'm going to restart the inking again. Okay, so 
my camera stopped again so this is telling me that this drawing is cursed so I'm not even going to use this as a lesson I'm just going to go do a full drawing on this a detailed drawing and then put it up as a drawing and not so much as a lesson because it's, as I say this thing is just it's cursed so we're going to continue with the full speed or a speed drawing and uh, finish it up and I'll talk to you when I'm finished if the camera doesn't cut off again
Okay, so that's going to be it with this cursed drawing. This thing was cursed from the start. But I managed to make something out of it. And uh, I have been receiving a number of emails from people that say they can't draw. But everybody has a bad day. You know, I'm not saying I'm the greatest thing on the planet, but I have bad days too. So, and this one was one of them. But, you know, when you, what is it saying? When you get lemons, put some sugar in it and water and make a lemonade. So, yeah, this is my lemonade soldier. All right. So, with that one, I'm going to call it quits. And I will see you guys in the next video. And give a thumbs up for this. Give a like and a thumbs up. I see videos where as soon as the video starts, they say, oh, give a like and a thumbs up. And you haven't even seen the video yet. Well, I'm going to say I like it. Well, I haven't seen it yet. So you've seen it. So now give a thumbs up. Subscribe. That's the other thing. Thumbs up, like, subscribe. All right. I will see you guys in the next video.